Hello, and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. Doing a little box opening, and then we're gonna cook with it on the grill and test it out. Um, I wanna test some eggs on it and see how they stick, if they don't stick, whatever. It's gonna be a pan. I can't wait to try this pan out because I'm so picky on what pans I purchase. There goes the dogs. And then um, <clears throat> I have a lot of cast iron pans a lot and I love cast iron. They're like my favorite pan to uh, cook with. Let's go ahead, open this box, check out the pan, do a little cook on it and uh, see how it works. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, here it is, uh, order done on Amazon. And um, the packaging is kind of funny because it's not this big, but that's typical Amazon. You order a package and you know, the item can be this big, but then you get a box like this to fill up your uh, cardboard container. But hey, see, that's what I mean. There it is. That's all, that's all that's in there. So let's get rid of this and check it out. Ooh, black steel. It's a Dutch cookware, I guess since 1851. Um, 26 centimeters, 10 inch, black steel, pre-seasoned carbon steel. This here, I'm gonna tell you right now, is super amazing. So, but we're gonna try it out and cook on it. Um, it's pre-seasoned. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a wash first because of the uh, oils and stuff, you know, from the manufacturer. And um, first thing I'm gonna cook on it is, of course, bacon. So, um, pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and pop this off, see if there's anything else I wanna go over. Pretty well made. It's a lot lighter than cast iron. It's, uh, from my understanding, is like a, a flat steel uh, sheets and uh, a little smoother surface. Cast iron handle, really solid. Really uh, built tough. And um, comes with some instructions on a wash in it and putting in and basically keeping it uh, seasoned. And of course, it's like any cast iron, You, the more you use it, you know, the more seasoned it gets. I have a, um, a wok that is similar that I did a blue uh, stealing done, what do you call it? It's basically seasoning it. I cooked it probably, my goodness, uh, eight, nine hours back and forth of, you know, seasoning it. But, um, is I can throw it on my grill. It's gonna heat up quicker. And then also you can throw it in, you know, the kettle, the barbecue, you know, wherever you wanna cook it, you know, use it. You can throw it in any, you know, any one of them, depending on how you wanna, you know, grill or whatnot. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna go give it a quick bath real quick. And uh, we're gonna try it out and cook on it. All right, so here's a few of our ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and the carb of choice was a bagel, a cheese bagel, and then a couple of eggs, um, jalapeno, I'm just gonna dice that up. A couple of slices of bacon, thick bacon, it's a peppered bacon. And then a couple slices, or actually one slice of Swiss cheese, some ham, some turkey, some sausage, a little bit of uh, cheddar cheese, and what else? We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of the uh, Everglades uh, cactus dust. It's like a barbecue rub. And uh, gotta have some little bit of uh, Tabasco on there. Gonna go with the Chipotle. And I think that's pretty much it. 
Let's go ahead and put some bacon on the new skillet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this bacon going. Gosh, I can this. I, I'm testing this guy out, and I'm gonna probably get a uh, couple of more bigger sizes. I'm gonna go ahead and put some sausage on here. We're gonna smash that down. I have these links. And I'm gonna squirt a little bit of oil, just, just a little bit down on there. And uh, smash the heck out of those guys. Check this out. Look at that bacon. Bacon's not even sticking to the bottom of that skillet. Really nice. Definitely gonna have to get something for the handle. Wow, I think I'm in love. Go ahead and flip the sausage over. It's about finished. Kind of want it flat a little bit. Now let's go ahead and what do I want? Let's go ahead and throw some jalapenos on there. Warm those up a little bit. And what else? You know what I really need to do is I need to stop yelling because I got a new mic and I'm super excited. I think my sound is gonna be a lot better. So thought I'd throw that in there. Super excited about my mic. Um, Let's go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and throw this ham and, and uh, turkey on here. Make sure this far burner's off. I'm gonna turn that down, the middle burner down. Kinda want this bacon to cook a little bit quicker, but bacon takes time. I cannot wait to throw an egg in this pan. Gonna slap some mayo on that bagel and put it on. Jalapenos, yummy. I like the seeds. I should have kept the seeds in there. Hey, it looks like the sausage is done. And yeah, we're going to call that done. Put the sausage over there. Call these jalapenos good. Throw those over there. We're gonna call that turkey good. Just go ahead. We're gonna put a little 
Here comes the wind. Some cheese on that bad boy. Some cheddar. And that cheddar is not freshly gr uh, grated. That cheddar. I love fresh grated cheddar. I'm not a big fan of the stuff in the package because it comes with like a wax coating on it. Put that over there to the side. Let's go ahead and put a Swiss cheese on top. Like that. And we're going to go ahead and get the sausage. Put the sausage up on top. Tell me this sandwich is not looking freaking amazing. Some jalapenos. Check this, almost toasted. I like it a little bit crispier, but that's okay. Go ahead and slap that guy on top. This guy on top. And uh, grab that guy there. These bagels, they're probably done. Those are done. Let's go ahead. We got a hot pan. We are too hot right now. Okay, so I went ahead and got a uh, little handle protector here. It is. It does get a little hot. So let's go ahead and try these eggs and um, get this sandwich built. This is a, I can't, I'm excited about this part, just to see how this sticks to it. I'm not sure how stickable this is. We'll see. I'll go ahead and slap some of this uh, cactus dust on there. Give it a little uh, barbecue taste. Go ahead and turn it up a tad. We're about a quarter right now. That's my neighbor's dog barking back there. And um, it barks at its shadow. So when the sun comes out, it runs around barking at its shadow. All right, how are we doing on these eggs? Turn that up a tad. No sticking. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at that. Look at that. I wonder if I can flip these without making a mess. Probably not. Let's go ahead and do this. Ah, broke the yolk for me. bit runniness. Just a little bit. We want to make this sloppy. I'm impressed. I love it. I'm going to actually order uh, a large one after this cook and uh, really impressed. Bacon's good. All right, that's about done. 
a little bit wide in there. All right, let's go ahead and build. It is time. Okay. There we go. Nice and nice and crispy. Look at that golden brown. You know, if you can, uh, you know, put mayo on there, it comes out really amazing. So let's go ahead. Put this guy on there. Go ahead and stack this egg. I'm not thrilled, so I don't burn myself. Really, really nice pan. Really, really, really nice pan. Slap that guy in there. And there we go. Look at that. Look at that sandwich. That's now that's a breakfast sandwich. I'm starving. I haven't ate. And uh, super delicious. Okay, so there is my sandwich once again. And let's go ahead and give it a try. My goodness, this isn't about my sandwich, but it is. Oh my goodness. You know, I haven't ate today. It's noon, afternoon. Mmm. So good. But like I said, it's not about my sandwich. It's about this skillet. And this skillet is pretty amazing. Because I know that I'm gonna be able to wipe wipe it clean. Look at that. I used soap on it one time, and I won't use soap on it again, just to clean the manufacturer's junk off of it. But look at that. We cooked bacon in it, and we cooked eggs. Awesome stuff. Very, very well built. Happy about that. I got a place to hang it in my kitchen, and it's gonna be one of my faves. Thank you for watching this video. I hope everybody out there is having a fabulous week. I'm on vacation this week, so pretty lucky. Once again, thank you for subscribing. If you're a subscriber and you're watching, do me a big, huge favor. Hit that subscribe button down below. That thumbs up kind of is important also. And uh, I'll see you on the next Cooked.